In today's morning brief, Miles Udlin wrote about housing and specifically sort of trying to figure out what is this housing cycle? Where are we in it? We did get a little bit more detail on uh, the state of the housing market this morning when we got housing starts for last month, which fell by 7%, but building permits, which rose by about 2.6%, both of them, by the way, reversing what they had been doing the prior month. So I don't know if you can draw any conclusions from that, Miles, but you were also looking at home builder sentiment and some commentary around housing and, and what all of that tells us about where we are. Yeah, I mean, the housing market has clearly been slowing down for some time now, and you would expect it to, given the frenzy of home buying that we saw earlier this year. And we continue to see home prices uh, going higher, and we'll get another check on that later this month with the uh, Case-Shiller data. Um, but ultimately, what you are seeing, and, and are, or at least what some economists believe we're seeing, is just a right-sizing of the U.S. housing market. Certainly, there has been a massive pull forward of demand from um, you know urban dwellers, Julie, like you and myself, who decided to flee to the suburbs um, and you know get a different perspective on life as a result of the pandemic, perhaps, or or perhaps just because the timing was right and it was something that um, you know we'd always thought about doing at some point in the future, but things came together such that this was the moment to go buy a home. And now with uh, the pace of sales coming down, um, you know, and, and looking at things like mortgage applications clearly coming in, there just is not the appetite today for home buying as there was uh, several months ago. So we see some of this feeding into the data. And then obviously in home builder sentiment, you're dealing with not only a slower pace of sales, but you're also dealing with higher costs. And lumber was a big story that we talked about. The price of lumber has uh, come down, I think, in excess of 70% from its peak. So there's certainly been uh, a transitory um, element to the inflation on the lumber side. But of course, there's a lot more that goes into homes. Uh, and you know, the NHB mentioned this in yesterday's Home Builder Confidence data, that there are supply side limitations holding back the market. You still have uh, bathtubs and fixtures, uh, you know, siding stuck on boats waiting to get offloaded. They are they're stuck in containers. Um, and then they when they get onshore, then they there's no truck to bring them to where they need to go, so on and so forth. The cost of land for home builders has gone up considerably. And so all of these challenges in getting a new home built um, have really compounded and they continue to be a big part of that story, um, you know, along with a buying market that, again, hit a kind of mania of sorts in April and May and even into June, but now has um, started to correct if only because everyone who wanted to scramble to get a home scrambled to get a home. And now you have uh, maybe more patient or um, you know less, less cash available buyers coming into the market. You're not, you don't have the kind of folks coming in who are ready to go 50 over ask uh, and, and do it in half cash, whatever these crazy things that we all heard about um, happening in the spring, that that's just coming out of the market. And, you know, really, as, as Ian Shepardson at Pantheon Macro said, you know, in his view, he, he just, everyone just kind of missed the mark on what was happening, right? I think he says, um, you know, the, the bid to go from the city to the suburbs came in fast, and it's over. And now we're back to a more normalized housing market. And everyone is still benchmarking themselves, maybe to that May, June, April time period, when it was a frenzy and, and thinking that this was going to be some permanently new state of affairs uh, and the incoming data, at least in Ian's view, is just backing up um, you know, the idea that that, that was indeed a one-off and, and now we can go about our lives um, you know, and think about housing in a, in a more sober and, and sort of deliberate way rather than it being um, you know, some manic period for home buyers. Yeah, Miles, it really, everything you wrote about in the newsletter, it, it's playing out. I think it played out uh, in Home Depot. It played out in Lowe's in their quarterly results. It's playing out uh, in their outlooks. Uh, you know, we're not seeing uh, that same level of remodeling activity uh, at the same pace it was last year. And, and to your point, I think a lot of folks thought you would be remodeling your home every single day. You, you need an endless stream of plants, and that's not <laughs> happening. I don't know. It feels like I still got a lot of remodeling to do. But one other thing I would say about all of this is that even if things moderate, price might not moderate to the same degree, right? And so then there are affordability questions that are going to come up, especially if rates start to rise and the economy starts to cool down. Um, we already had an affordability problem in the U.S. 
uh, when it came to housing and access problem because of building restrictions in certain areas and whatnot. So, you know, that's something that I think is going to continue to be a problem and, and might even be worse coming out of the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, I'll just say this, like people say things like, oh, there's going to be an affordability problem when rates go up. That's why rates aren't going up. That's right. all. I mean, we do this dance every, every like we've been doing it for 10 years. Um, <laughs> why would there be 4% on the 10 year? And why would there be six and a half on a, on a 30 year? It's just not going to happen, um, you right. know, given all kinds of structural things. So that's all I got. Well, on, and on I guess one. the difference between you know, I guess the difference between a 3% mortgage rate and a 4% mortgage rate, you know, it's at, it makes a difference, but we're not talking about a huge jump like we've had in, in past eras, for example. Right. Sure. 